Raise your hand when you're in on YouTube. Is that way I know? Yes, on YouTube. Will you show them how to get on YouTube as well? Have you found it? Are you on YouTube? Perfect. Okay. In the YouTube search, you're going to search ACCT space 133. Uh, something should come up. A, a live broadcast should come up for this class. Let me know once you find it. ACCT space 133. Nothing's coming up yet? Yes, lecture one. ACC, ACCT 133 lecture one is a complete one, but I think there should only be one ACCT 133. Dash. Uh, dash lecture one. Just search that and I should pop up. If I've popped up for you, raise your hand. Yes, you found me? Great. So this is already live and being recorded now. So everything I'm saying now, you'll be able to watch on YouTube uh, mere seconds after this class. Technology is awesome. Um, who has not found it yet? Um, in, the, in the YouTube search, it's going to be ACCT 133. I'm just going to close the door real quick. <clears throat> part of this is that it's completely public, so um, anyone in the world can log in and see this presentation right now. So um, I don't know, next week if you say, oh, check this out, if you want to tell your family and friends, whatever, and log in, if they want to learn QuickBooks, they can do that too. Um, so who has not found it? Everyone's on it. You have not found it yet. It's too slow. Uh, to the YouTube. Everyone, this is, that's cool. So, uh, yes, be on the YouTube page. Uh, be on the YouTube page. I'll, I'll, I'll be showing you the, um, my, I'll be sharing my screen right now with you in a second. Okay. So maybe I'll edit all this beginning stuff out, but I don't know. I'll just leave it. Let's see. Okay, so welcome to uh, Accounting 133. So we're going to talk about QuickBooks, but first a few, um, a few things we need to take care of. So let me just show you my screen. Here we go. Okay, everyone can see my screen? Okay. Okay, so here's the syllabus. So of course, uh, you're, if you're doing QuickBooks, you're in the right place. Uh, we established that yesterday. Um, we'll be meeting primarily here um, in in this lab. If there's a field trip or something like that, of course that's different. Um, but mostly you'll be meeting here every morning. So the whole point is to, of course, get QuickBooks certified. So everything that we do in this class will lead to that. Uh, can you can you see this on your screen? Or is it kind of blurry or is it kind of slow? It's just kind of slow. Okay. Uh, I'll try and, and just slow down so that way the computers can catch up. It's a syllabus, right? Yeah, we're at the syllabus right now. We should be looking at course objectives? Yes. Okay. So pretty much preparation, preparation, preparation. Um, so we're doing a few practice tests, but by the end of the course, you should be uh, QuickBooks certified. So, and for your, somebody asked, I remember last time, if this was a core class? Yes. This is a core class. So if you have three absences, you're gone and out of here. Um, 
So it is a very important class, so please do be here. Uh, all you need is this book right here. Everyone should have this book. Um, you don't need it for class right now, but we will be using it extensively. So please make sure you have this book. The 2013 book, um, I don't know if they have a 2014 one out, but don't get that one. We're, we're going off of the 2013. Everything should be current up until then. Okay. And of course, we'll be using uh, the QuickBooks software on our, our computers. Uh, this is pretty standard, so participation 25%. If you come to class, like I said, you get 100%. If you're not here, I can't. Uh, assignments, you're going to have 10 homeworks. I'm going to make it very simple for you. And exams, you have one midterm and one final. Um, and it's going to be an average of both. So if you do really, really awesome on your midterm, it might average out to be a nice grade if you, if you bomb your final. So uh, keep that in mind. So you really, really want to do well on this first one. So that way you can sit nice and tight and be very comfortable. Okay. And of course, there's only A, B, C, or F. There aren't any Ds or Es. I don't know what an E would be. Maybe excellent. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so let's move back here to... Aha. Okay. So uh, let's kind of move into... Any questions? No. Okay. Uh, what do you see on your screen right now? Still the grades. Okay. So it's going to take a while to catch up to me. Um... That's okay. Please um, sign on to YouTube. Actually, your neighbor will show you. She'll show you where to go and where to be. Okay, what do you see now? Same thing. Yes? Doesn't work at all. Um, what seems to be the problem? It's freezing? Um, okay, uh, find a different computer and then do the whole thing. Search, sign into your Gmail, search for YouTube. Uh, the accounting, yeah. It might just be the computer. Um, or re refresh, try again. If not, just pick a different computer. Okay, what do you see now? A blue box. Okay, perfect. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and get started then. Okay, so what is QuickBooks? And that's not a rhetorical question. I'm asking you all. What is QuickBooks? I know you've heard of QuickBooks before. What do you think it is? An account, a banking system, an accounting system? Anything else? What else do you think it is? OK. What it literally is is a piece of software. What does it do? We can kind of guess, right? We're in an accounting class. What, what, do, what do you think it does? You said a very key word, and that was it helps. It helps to do accounting, right? So what it is by itself is a piece of software. What it does is really nothing. By itself, it does nothing. It only does as much as you tell it to do. So then... Who here really is the accountant, the software or you? You. Okay. Uh, so with that being said, you can equate what's more dangerous, a knife or your fist? Your fist. Why? Because you control your fist, right? A knife by itself, can it do damage? No, you need someone to pick it up and do damage with it, right? But a knife by itself is just going to stay laying there on the table and not do anything. It's not going to walk up and stab you by itself. So your fist is more important. So equating that to QuickBooks, QuickBooks by itself will not do accounting for you. It's the knife. It does nothing. Without you, it does nothing. QuickBooks works as fast as you work. That may have not been the case, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, when computers were really slow, um, it would work as fast as a computer. But now, with technology, QuickBooks works as fast as you work. So um, it's a tool. A tool to, let me clear this out here. Ah, OK. So it's a tool used to enhance or replace uh, longhand accounting. 
That's all it is. So, what 10 people used to do, maybe 15, 20 years ago, now one person can do. So what does that say about the power of QuickBooks? Do you want to be the one person that knows it, or the nine people that got fired because they don't? You want to be the one person that knows it. And this is happening in every field. Software and those who know the software are replacing those who don't. So how important do you think QuickBooks is? Very important. So let's say you're going into medical building, medical assistant, x-ray. Why are you taking this class? Why is QuickBooks important to you? You don't plan to be an accountant, bookkeeper. You don't care. Why should it be important to you? Keep track of what? Oops. Why is QuickBooks important to you? You're all doing something else. X-ray technician, medical assistant. Why do you need to know accounting QuickBooks? To Maybe to get a raise. Okay. So to, to get a raise, I don't know if you can see that. Um, to get a raise, what else? You get to manage your, your business. What would happen if the economy went into a depression and all of the x-ray jobs are gone all of the medical assistant jobs are gone everything else is gone and you're looking for a job and say I know how to take x-rays so like good we're only hiring QuickBooks users and you're like oh great I failed that class how important is it then very important this not only gives you a skill set that is adaptable to any job, but it makes you employable and flexible. You can say, no problem, I spent a lot of time being an x-ray technician, but you know what? I need a job. I know how to do QuickBooks. So, what's the difference between someone that says they know how to do QuickBooks and someone who's QuickBooks certified? You're the employer. You're hiring someone. You ask someone, do you know QuickBooks? And they say, yeah, I know how to do QuickBooks. They give you an unsure kind of, yeah, you know, they lie to you. And the other person says, of course I can. Here's my QuickBooks certification. Hello, have a seat and have a seat next to somebody and that somebody will show you what we're doing right now. What's the difference? You're the employer, you're the boss, you're hiring someone. You ask them if they know QuickBooks, someone says, ah, yeah. And the other person says, yes, I have a certification. Who are you going to hire? Why? How do, you know what, how do you know that they know what they're doing? Because their skills have been tested. So everyone probably once in their life comes across QuickBooks software and plays around with it. And that's it. So that person that says, yeah, I know QuickBooks is a person that probably just played around with QuickBooks and can say that because they know what the software is. But someone that's certified not only knows what the software is, their skills in that software have been tested successfully. So with that certification, you're telling that boss, hey, hey, I'm successful in this software. Not only do I know it, but I know it well. So with that, information is king. Let's see, let me erase this. Um, that's kind of like saying, have you heard of the, um, I don't know, where, where on your screen can you see right now? What's showing up? Economy. Economy, okay. So this is a very, there's a very big lag on that. I've already moved on. Um, that's okay, you'll have to watch this video later. So, have you heard of the saying, the one-eyed man is king in the land of the blind? No, well, you have now. 
Um, you will have enough information to take the tests. Um, many, uh, many, if not all of you, might be, be, may be ready to get QuickBooks certified. So I'm going to teach it as if you are taking the, the certification, because at the end of the day, that's the goal. Uh, I don't want to waste your time either. So if you can take it, take it. If not, of course, you have uh, the accounting, I think, 143 to, to get certified. It gives you another opportunity to get certified. I'm going to teach it as if you are. So that way you're that much more prepared. OK. So the, uh, what does the one-eyed man have in the land of the blind? One eye. And what does that give him? An advantage. Why? He can see. And that gives him information. Information is king. So what is the difference between somebody who knows how to play the lottery and somebody who knows the winning lottery numbers? Right? You want to hire the guy that has the winning lottery numbers, right? That's the difference, because he has information. That guy is the guy with one eye. He has information. He can see things. The other people don't. So, in this entire class, always ask yourself, do I want to be the guy with the winning lottery numbers or the guy that knows how to play the lottery? The guy that knows, or the lady, I'm sorry, say guy. The lady, do I want to be the person who... Um, uh, can play around with QuickBooks, or do I want to be the person that can be certified and is successful in the software and is employable uh, and can create value for that company that you're going into? Or on the flip side, when you run your own companies, um, instead of hiring 10 people to do that work, you can do it all yourself. How much money you're going to save there depends on how much you pay your employees, but that is a huge, huge savings. This gives you the power to run your own business successfully. It's really difficult without this accounting software. It's possible, but you'll be spending too much time on it. So, okay, so we've uh, gone over why it's important. Um, and, okay, going in here. So, uh, typical things of what you'll see if you are a QuickBooks uh, professional is a lot of, let me see what I can see here. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you see on your screen now? The one I king. <laughs> okay. So in um, as a QuickBooks professional or um, uh, an accounting professional, you're going to get a lot of questions. And you should be able, you're going to be the answer person. A typical question is when they call the accounting department, you are the accounting department. And they're going to say, your boss is going to say, who's our number one customer? You go into QuickBooks, <coughs> and then you cough. You go into QuickBooks, you cough, and then after you're done coughing, um, your boss can say, who's our number one customer? You go in, and 10 seconds later, maybe even faster, you can say, this person is our number one customer. He's going to say, why? Because they bring in $1 million a year, and they always pay on time. Your boss goes, great, hangs up the phone, you've done your job. Um, a customer calls and says, hey, I have a problem with this invoice. You charged me tax twice. And you're like, okay, no problem. Ten seconds later, you tell them, I do see that. I'm sorry, we charged you tax twice. Uh, but I also see that we forgot to charge you this other thing. So now you owe us more money. And you were able to do that in ten seconds. Uh, another thing, your boss calls and says, hey, um, Jasmine's getting a raise. Will you fix her payroll to reflect that? Ten seconds later, Jasmine has her raise. And other things going, okay. Our supplier, our supplier, Nidia? Our supplier, Nidia, um, wants to invoice us for something we didn't buy. Look into that. Ten, ten seconds later, it's in there, and you say, hey, we never bought this. We never put a purchase order for that. Cancel the order. Sorry, Nidia. You lied to us. <laughs> Those kind of questions you'll be able to answer within 10 seconds. Why is that important for this class? I don't expect you to know that. That's maybe a rhetorical question. Because on the exam, you have time limits on the questions. You will be given, I think, sometimes two minutes for the questions, but most of them are timed. So you have 30 seconds to a minute to answer these questions. And it's going to be just like that. 
a question is going to be, who's our number one customer? And it's going uh, to give a simulation of QuickBooks, and you're going to have to find, and they'll only give you so many clicks. And then the next question is going to be, who is our number one customer not using the mouse? So you have to, with your keyboard, be able to search and type and find your number one customer. So it's very detailed, the exam. You have to know what's in every single menu. So anytime you do something with a click, you're going to have to go into the menu and go line by line. How do I get there without having to click it? Because it's easy. If you need to ring up a sale, all you do is find the little money sign, you click it, and there's a sale box coming up automatically. But on the test, it needs to know, if you don't have a mouse, how do you get to that subject? So it's very detailed. It's a lot of memorization. You have had accounting classes before this class. Um, so this, I won't be teaching you accounting. I'm going to be teaching you how to use what you know in this software. And it translates perfectly. Uh, in fact, you might even learn more accounting using the software than you did in the class. And that's just natural. It happens. It's easier when you're um, on a computer and you can see and you can do things in real time than it is reading a book and doing homework. Okay. Um, so with that being said, we're going to stop this lecture here. Um, I'm sorry. Let me get to this. Ah, my computer froze. <laughs> yeah, my computer froze. Okay. Uh, I can't stop it. <laughs> what do you see now on your screen? Question marks. Okay. Good. So it hasn't caught up yet. You don't know my computer froze yet. <laughs> um, but you will. I'm going to go ahead and end this broadcast. So meanwhile, go ahead and um, end the YouTube and uh, find QuickBooks on the desktop and open it up. And that will give me a second to fix this here. It might ask you to update. If you want, go ahead and just say yes and do the update. Has everyone found it? Yes, no, maybe so? Uh, computer's still frozen. Hmm. Frozen, frozen, frozen. <sighs> okay. Everyone has QuickBooks open? Mm, Express Start. Yeah. What else does it say? Is there a cancel button on that? No. Yes. yes, click the cancel button. And it should just open regularly. Oh, um, okay. We'll go together and we'll open a company right now. We will find a company. This computer will unfreeze itself, I hope. Well, just let it continue to record and we'll edit that out. So at least you can get the audio. Okay, well, I need to switch this over then. Okay, so that's going to stop.